Okay, hello YouTube. This is Boom Dad. Um, I know I haven't been, I haven't made any videos in quite some time, but I found this perfect game that I could show you. It's called Flow, and it's actually a fan game of a game that some of you might know called Yume Nikki. And it's a really great game, Yuma Nikki, and I've gotten all the effects, and I've played through it and everything, and I think I found everything there is to find, except for maybe, like, one or two things, like Taco Fusen and some other things like that, but, um, the problem is, is that even though I'd like to show gameplay video of that, one, you can find plenty of it on YouTube, two, you can even find plenty of forums that can, you know, show and give pictures of everything, and there's a wiki for it, <sighs> and three... I can't, for the life of me, figure out or remember where all the effects were. Um, instead, I'm going to show Flow. It's, a, like I said before, it's a fan game, and it's actually a really nice spinoff. It's not as wide and vast as Yuma Nikki. It's a bit more linear in, you know, places that you can go to and everything like that. And um, the thing is, is that it's not nearly, I bet you can hear my dogs barking, and I really want to just... Uh, stupid dogs. <laughs> Anyways, so the thing is with Flow is that to download it, like to download and play it is the same way as you can do it with Yume Tuki, which is, you know, one of the more um, talked about fan games. It has its own wiki and it has like a page dedicated to finding out where all the effects are. But, um,. Flow doesn't have that. Um, there's no wiki page dedicated to it, as far as I can tell. I couldn't find anything on the fan game dedicated wiki, which is really kind of sad and everything. And on YouTube, it's really hard to find gameplay videos that show you where to get all the effects without starting off somewhere you don't know, or having items that you don't have quite yet and everything. And also, um, on the actual, on Uboa-chan itself, the, the chan dedicated to, you know, Yume Nikki, I could not find any relevant information on how to get all of the effects for flow. And, um, some things have changed with the English version, and I couldn't find some things because the English version was, has some different updated things as compared to the Japanese version. So I decided to show you this. Another thing, I will link the download in my description if you want to play it and I'll figure out what to do about instructions. If some of you are new to this and you'd like to play it and you have no idea how. Anyways, let's just start up this game and I'll just show you. It's kind of like a combination let's play and um, walk through to find all the effects. I hope <laughs> I remember where all of them are. Anyways, if I sound kind of out of breath, it's because I'm laying on my bed, because I cannot find any place in this house that's quiet. You obviously heard my dogs barking. Every single room in this house can, you know, hear everything else in it, and I have little brothers running around making tons of noise, and you can't stop life from living, so... I apologize if there are any weird noises or anything else like that, and for the whole out of breathness that I have going on. All right. Anyways, let's start. All right. So, this is your main character. Her name is Sabitsky. It's spelled Sabitsuki. But Sabitsky obviously flows nicer. <laughs> Anyways, this is her room. It's kind of dark and dank. Her carpet's really nice, though. And her Famicom, or whatever it is, looks new. Same thing with her little plushie. But, um, like Madotsky and Yume Nikki, she won't go out the door. She has a balcony. It looks pretty dark and desolate. Or not dark because it's light out, but it just looks kind of sad. There's no dialogue in this game. There's no backstory. You just play just like you, Maniki. So you can make up your own theories about what this game symbolizes, or you can just play it. Anyways, 
You can't interact with the bookcase. You can turn on her TV, and it always shows the same channel, which is this flashing channel that looks like, I don't know, bars on a red background with like a gray splotch on it. I don't know. Is my... Okay. <laughs> Anyways. You can play the game on her Famicom and turning off that TV. And it's called Shin Soku Neko. And it's a lot harder than Natsu. Because things move a lot faster. And there's still not a very good, like... It's hard to catch things. I'm not very good at it. I swear to you, I have a high score of 60 on my other save. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, unlike you and Nikki, also, when you go into your bed, it's to save. Instead, to get to the... I don't know. You can't call it a dream world because it's on our computer, so maybe you can call it, like, the flow world or whatever. You go on her computer. You can move her around in her chair. If you click away, she'll get off. And you just press again, press space or, you know, whatever again. You can move her in this little loading screen. And you can also, on the loading screen, you can get off of it if you need to by just pressing away and getting off the chair. Okay, this is the flow world. Just so like Yuma Nikki, her Famicom isn't there anymore. The TV channel always stays the same, as far as I know. And I don't think anything happens when she goes in her bed. You can get in her chair, but you can't do anything with the computer. So the only other place to go is this way. Alright, this is the Nexus, or the Hub, or whatever you want to call it. And... Unlike you, my Nikki, there are no doors. There's just paths, which is outlined by these white lines. You can't go in the black area, so you have to go on, you know, one of the four paths. Whew. Okay. So, a lot of YouTube videos, I realize, show Sabitsky running, riding around on a witch's broom, but I've never seen a video that actually shows you how to get it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to get it in case you're when you're playing this game you can get really impatient just like with you my Nikki and everything even though it's more linear you can still get frustrated. So I'm just going to show you how to get the broom. I like to call this place the telephone pole world but you can call it whatever you want. Just keep going about southeast a bit until you hit here. Go all the way down these stairs. You can tell why some people would want to go fast. <laughs> I think every single fan-made game and fan-made character is obscenely slow for some people. I'm okay with the walking as long as I know where I'm going. But trying to find things while you're walking, like trying to find different doors or routes or different effects or, you know, places of interest, it's kind of hard. This person in the hat, you can't talk to them or anything. I think it's supposed to be a girl, but it also kind of looks like a boy. You can get in their bed. As far as I know, it doesn't do anything because I don't stay long to find out. This room is empty, just like the other one. And you can teleport back here, and that's about it. Hmm. Kind of looks like Sabitsky's apartment, doesn't it? Anyways. In this basement is this weird eye thingy, which as far as I know, you can't do anything to it. Um really badly done pool of blood. I think they just kind of tossed that in there. Where you want to go is upstairs. If you want... XD. <laughs> Anyways, if you want, you can talk to the little orange blob. It's really cute. Doesn't do anything. And you want to go to the roof and touch the box, if it will let me. Alright. So, there's not really a name for this world, as far as I can tell. You can call it this floating square tile world, or you could call it, um, 
the IV world. But um, to get the broom, you just go on the north path. Also, another thing is that even though you can look up and try to find walkthroughs, like, it's really hard to understand what people are talking about in text. Because I've seen a few walkthroughs for, like, I've seen, like, one walkthrough on how to get something on here, and it was all in text. And even though it tells you exactly where to go, it's just, it's hard to formulate when you're in a world you don't really understand or anything like that. Anyways, here's the 8-bit world. Oh, this is the first time I haven't seen her at her pot. So this is the little witch girl. Every time I've gone here, she's been standing up here, mixing her little boiling pot of what looks like, I don't know, tricks and blood or something. Anyways, so what you want to do is go to your effects and equip your broom. As you can see, she's a lot faster, and she looks really cute with her little ponytail and her bow. As there are, I think, 20 effects, I think I'm going to make either 10 or 20 videos, depending on how much I get done, and how much time it takes to get each one done. Actually, I'll, I think I'll just make 20, if you, people can deal with that. And they'll all be based around finding the effects that you want, pretty much. Or they can be. I don't know. We'll see what I decide to do with this thing. Anyways, so I'm going to take us all the way back and I'm going to save and then we can start on the next part of the video. And I guess I'll just find whatever I can think of. Oh, I'll find the teleportation effect because that is really helpful. Especially if you don't have the broom. Or if you don't want to get it yet, or anything, because the staples of exploring in this game is being able to go fast and being able to get back to a recognizable area. Oh, another thing, you can press shift and she'll get off her broom. But yeah. Oh yeah, I keep on forgetting. You gotta go to the skill tab and get up. And this will take you back to her real world. And we're done.